Now on Morning Extra, mammograms. We know they are important for breast cancer detection, but who should get one and how often? What's the latest on that? What do you tell a woman who might be afraid to get one? Perhaps because she's heard that they hurt or perhaps she's worried about a positive diagnosis. Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and today we're going to get answers to those questions from Dr. Christina Stevenson. She's here. She's a surgical oncologist at the Yukon Health Center in Farmington. First, uh, doctor, thank you for coming in. And uh, what is uh, what is the latest on the, the the thinking about who should get a mammogram? How often? Uh, when do they start? So we recommend that any woman uh, starting at age 40 should begin having mammograms unless they have a family history of having uh, early breast cancer in the family. Then we recommend that they should do it about five to ten years before that person was diagnosed. Right. But otherwise, every every woman needs to start at 40. So at, at the point the, the family member was diagnosed, go back five years and that's when they should start. Yeah, at a minimum. Yeah. Uh, what uh, what is the uh, issue with the 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 hurting part of mammogram? Because you know you have to press hard and they want you to press harder and there's a little discomfort of course yeah yeah unfortunately you know that's the best test that we have to look at the breast tissue and the mammogram has to compress the breast tissue so that we can see through it as well as possible yeah so um, so it is a little uncomfortable but I think it's worth it in the long run since we know that mammograms um, are the only tool that we have that can help decrease your risk of dying of breast cancer now they have the the new 3d technology uh, but who is that for yes yeah, so we we just obtained that technology at UConn, so I'm very excited and I think it's really going to help us with patients with dense breast tissue um, that I think are particularly an issue, especially in Connecticut. We have the law where um, patients are notified of their breast density and then uh, you know, have the option for another test. And so I think with this a new technology, it helps us see through that dense breast tissue and it also helps uh, for patients that have to get called back for extra pictures, it decreases that rate by almost half. What do you tell a, a woman who might be afraid, reluctant to, to get a mammogram because she doesn't want to know or for whatever reason? How do, you, how do you get them over that hurdle? So I think it's really important to stay up on top of your mammograms because we know that mammograms do help decrease your risk of dying of breast cancer by uh, over a third. Um, and so it's the only thing that you can really do to help prevent yourself from getting breast cancer and having it be a, a, um, a more serious thing. So so we want to catch breast cancers as early as possible. We want to catch them before there's a mass that you feel, and mammograms are the way to do that. All right. Uh, and now there are stages of uh, development. And uh, my wife, when she was diagnosed 10 years ago, uh, was stage one. Thank mm -hmm. goodness. Uh, uh, can you describe the stages? Sure. So we would love to catch everyone as a stage one. So stage one means it's a, a small cancer and hasn't spread outside of the breast into the lymph nodes under the arm. Um, and the stages progress from there up to stage four being that you have disease that's spread throughout your body. So ideally with mammograms, we're catching that stage one disease because we're catching it before it's large enough to feel. So, uh, and now as between chemo and radiation or combination, how, does, how is that determined? So that's a, a little bit more complex. Um, you know, it depends on what patients opt for for their surgical treatment. Um, patients have the option of a lumpectomy versus a mastectomy. If patients have a lumpectomy, then they'll require uh, radiation therapy after surgery. If you get a mastectomy, most of the time you won't need radiation therapy, um, but occasionally you will. And then the chemotherapy piece is a little bit more complex and is, is that determined more after. Advanced, uh, um, it's usually the more advanced tumors, but sometimes smaller tumors. Um, we also do recommend chemotherapy, so we actually have an additional test called an oncotype that we can test each specific tumor and determine a patient's individual benefit from chemotherapy and whether or not we'd recommend it. Now, these breast self-exams, they're still critical, right? I think so. Um, I know there's a lot of confusion about uh, whether or not patients should be doing self-breast exams, and I think all women should do self-breast exams. I think you're the only person that's going to know what your breast feels like and when something's new and when you find it, you can bring it to the attention of your doctor without having to wait for the doctor to find it when you see them once a year. Now, when a woman feels something unusual there, uh, is it more likely that if it is cancer, that it's going to be, it's going to hurt to the touch or not hurt, or is there any pain associated so with that? So, typically cancers aren't painful, and uh, typically most of the masses that you'll feel in your breast are not painful, mm. and most of them are not cancer. So I think that's important to remember. What else would that, they be? Um, so there's a whole slew of different things that they can be things like fibroadenomas and cysts or something in young women that we typically feel um, 
fibrocystic disease is a common normal changing in the breast that happens as you age and that's what more commonly you feel in older women um, and then just the dense breast tissue you can feel so it's really important that women know their own breasts and know these lumps and bumps and know when something's new so um, you know I think it's important to remember though if you do feel something new the odds are that it's something benign it's not cancer but it's important to still get it checked out but the the breast self exam should be done every month uh, in the shower maybe a certain day of the month so you'll remember that exactly kind of thing. so um, we recommend once a month I usually say um, you know, and you where try do you, and do how it. far do you go where, where do so you, you want to feel um, up to the um, collarbone yeah. and then as far to the side as you can under the arm yeah. um, all around the breast tissue and then um, to the uh, breastbone in the center and, um, and if you find something there uh, you know I know that the reaction is going to be terror that, uh, you know, I've got cancer. Yeah, so I think it is very frightening anytime anybody feels something, a lump in their breast. And so I think, like I said, the most common thing it's going to be is something benign. But it's still important to get that checked out yeah. with your doctor and make sure you have all the tests that they recommend so that we're sure that we're not missing anything. Earlier is better. Now, there's yes. a very special event at the UConn, UConn Health Center Thursday. Yes, this Thursday at, at 8 a.m. a.m. breakfast? Um, a breakfast at the Pond House that's to raise oh. uh, funds for our free mammogram fund for women that either are uninsured or uh, underserved. Okay, great. So uh, where can they find out more information about that? At our website, um, www.uchc.edu. Dr. Stevenson, thanks so much for coming Thank in on you. Morning Extra today. I well, hope you learned something very good and good for your health there.